Let's take a look at some ABAP statements. Let's navigate to the ABAP editor. We do that by typing transaction SE38 and pressing enter. Once inside the ABAP editor, let's take a look at the Hello World demo program. Let's take a look at some of its ABAP statements. So let's type demo underscore hello underscore world and we click on display the system shows us the source code for the demo hello world let's take a look at these ABAP statements for example as you can see each ABAP statement ends with a period every word is separated with a space the first word of each ABAP statement is called a keyword in this case report parameters call skip position and write are all keywords of the ABAP programming language we write comments by using the asterisk character this is a comment, the selection screen comment, the dimpro comment, and the list comment. We can also use double quotations to write comments. If there are several ABAP statements, the ABAP runtime system writes the corresponding return code into the system field psi-subrc in order to provide information as to how successfully the particular statement was executed. The value zero means that the statement was successful. Other value different from zero means an, an error, warning, or exception occurred. For example, in this ABAP code we have at the right side, we have the execution of a function. The function ADDR underscore get underscore complete. When the system process this ABAP code, it returns a value on the system field side sub RC. If this value is zero or equal to zero, then that means the function was executed successfully. So we can continue with the or program flow logic. But if the size sub RC value is different from zero, that means there was an error or an exception when the function was executed. In this case, we can use that to implement a suitable error handling. There are various ways of navigating to the documentation for an ABAP statement. The F1 key takes you directly to the documentation for the statement on which the cursor is positioned. The I button with the description help on takes you to a dialog box where you can enter the required ABAP statement. Let's take a look at our Hello World program. Let's learn how to use the ABAP documentation. So, for example, if we want to learn about the documentation for the keyword parameters, we, highlight, we highlight the word parameters and we press F1 in our keyboard. That will open up our ABAP documentation for our keyword parameters. As you can see, we can read all the documentation for this keyword and we can learn a lot about from it. For example, we can click here and type options, navigate. We can learn how to use it. The system presents us various examples of how to use the word, the keyword parameters. Here we have some ABAP statements 
using the keyword parameters. This is one way of using the ABAP documentation for ABAP keywords. Another way is using the help on icon. So we highlight and we press the information. That will open another dialog box. Here we can write any keyword we want to know about. This time let's learn about the call screen keyword and we press continue. The system then shows us various options. We are gonna double click on call screen ABAP statement. And one more time we can see the documentation for the call screen ABAP statement. We can use this documentation whenever we are programming to learn more about our different ABAP keywords.